Resetting GM HMI VIN in minutes with Obstar X 300 G3. Watch before you try it. Welcome back to the channel. Your favorite destination where car diagnostics meet clarity and confidence. If you're new here or just stumbled across this video while searching for help with GM HMI VIN resets, then stick around. You're in for something really helpful. But before we dive into this powerful guide, I want to pause for just a moment and ask, have you hit that subscribe button yet? Because here's the thing. Most of you watch, learn, and even apply the tips, but forget to subscribe. And hey, if you're getting real value here, take a second and subscribe right now. It's free, but it fuels this channel to keep making more high-quality, real-world content just like this. And now let's get to it. Today we're walking through how to reset the VIN on a GM HMI module using the Obstar X 300 Classic G3 Key Programmer. If you've been hunting for a reliable, fast, and safe method to do this without sending your module out for reprogramming or pulling your hair out over compatibility issues, then you're in the right place. Before anything else, I have to mention this clearly. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Whether you're a seasoned technician, a DIY enthusiast, or someone just stepping into the world of automotive programming, the goal here is to help you understand the tools and procedures better. We always encourage following local laws and manufacturer guidelines whenever you're working on vehicles. All right, ready to roll? Let's walk step-by-step step through this process, and believe me, it's easier than you think. Step-by-step -step guide to reset GM HMI, VIN using Obstar X 300 G3. First off, take your Obstar X 300 G3 and connect it directly to your vehicle's OBD diagnostic port. It should power on automatically once it detects the ignition. Once you're in, navigate through the main menu and tap the ECU Advanced function. This section houses some of the most powerful and targeted features, including VIN resets. From there, head into the specific brand options. GM slash Opel GM slash Opel V30.04 Opel Him 2.0 slash 2.5. This pathway is crucial because it tells the tool exactly which protocol and ECU module you're working with. But here's a cool part. Not only can you reset the HMI module VIN, but the X300 Classic G3 also supports several GM and Opal modules, including Atom, Astra J and Astra K, Crosa D, Insignia, Mariva B. So if you're working across multiple models, you're not just getting one function you're getting an all-in-one powerhouse that works across the GM and Opal ecosystem. Now, once you're inside the HMI module screen, make sure to tap on Guide in the lower left corner. This section gives you a rundown of the function description and a helpful menu layout. Don't skip this, especially if it's your first time using this function. Next, you want to go back to the previous screen and select ECU Info. This is where you can see the original VIN stored inside the module. It's important to check this before you proceed, so you know exactly what you're changing. Once confirmed, tap on Reset VIN, and boom, the system will run the command. In a matter of seconds, you'll get a success message letting you know the VIN has been reset. But wait, don't just stop there. To be 100% sure, go back again and hit ECU Info one more time. If the VIN is blank or updated, then congratulations, your reset was successful. Now here's my personal take on this. The Obstar X 300G 3 continues to impress. For technicians and even advanced DIYers, it cuts down hours of work into minutes. The VIN reset feature, in particular, is clean, intuitive, and doesn't require you to jump through complex hoops or use multiple tools. It's fast. It's reliable. It's a huge time saver. But what do you think? I want to know your honest take. Have you used the X 300 G3 for VIN resets before? Did it work as smoothly as shown here? Or did you run into issues? Drop your experience in the comments below. I read everything and it helps others too. Let's make this a conversation, not just a tutorial. And if this video helped you in any way, even just a little, then I'm throwing down the challenge. 1,000 likes and 100 real comments in the first 24 hours. Can we make it happen? If you're still watching, that means you've found value here. So hit that like button, leave your thoughts in the comments, 
And if you really want to support this channel's mission to bring clear, hands-on auto programming tutorials to everyone, consider hitting that super thanks. Lastly, don't forget to share this video. Someone out there is stuck on this exact problem, and your share might save them hours of stress. Thanks again for being part of this growing community of smart techs and curious minds. Subscribe if you haven't already, and come back soon. We've got more deep dives and exclusive guides coming your way. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious, and as always, happy diagnosing.